Hi guys. Well, it has turned into a just a gray, gloomy, cold, yuck winter night in May here in New York, baby. Here on this gloomy. It is Sunday, May fifth, twenty twenty-four. It is Cinco de Mayo, so uh, I am celebrating. Cinco de Mayo with my little dog in the tiny house and uh, instead of out celebrating it with my peak boomer friend. So guys, I know this is turning into a broken record rant and, and I'm really going to make this, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to make this, I think this is part three in this broken record out, but I, I guess I have to make an apology and make an apology to the younger generations than the boomers from hell who fucked it up for everybody else. Uh, you know, I, I've been talking trash. Well, I always just forget to talk trash about generation Gen X. I just completely forgot that they ever existed kind of that missing generation between boomers and millennials. But, I, you know, I, I've been talking a lot of trash about millennials and uh, Gen Zers being whiny little spoiled brats acting like uh, they can't find any money uh, to live comfortably in this this unbelievable onslaught of articles that I'm seeing now from every generation, apparently, uh, whining uh, that they're not going to have enough money, uh, well, particularly for boomers now, not to live comfortably while making money. But now the whine is, of course, they're not going to have enough money to retire comfortably. And you always see this fucking C word, comfortably, uh, which is the operative word in the sentence, because if you took the word comfortably out, uh, there, there would be no story. And, it, and it's all what the goddamn definition of comfort is. So, uh, w w with all of these stories about the poor little uncomfortable, uh, all the rest of them, I, 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 I get to this one and, and uh, I have to say, okay, uh, Hambone, you, you can't let your, your, uh, your peers off. I did not realize that I qualify as a peak boomer. I never knew until today that I am a peak boomer. Yes. This is from Business Insider. A 64-year-old peak boomer worries his savings and Social Security won't be enough to retire. So David Kirsch is my age. He's 64 and he is worrying that he won't have enough money to retire comfortably in a few years. He is one of 30 million Americans known as Peak Boomers, a group born between 1959 and 1964. Many of these boomers are worried ah, about having enough to stop working and cover their expenses. Well, it depends on what your fucking expenses are, I guess. Uh, if you drive uh, a fucking 11-year-old truck with 200,000 miles on it, uh, you live in a shack on the side of the road, you live in a single-wide mobile home, in this case tonight, you live in a 7 by 7 foot converted tool shed 
uh, okay, and, and you don't need to be uh, taking a fucking cruise around the world, and you don't have to uh, be, be going out to these fucking uh, overpriced restaurants, and you don't have to be buying all of these fucking gadgets uh, that these Gen Zers at uh, at fucking Best Buy and the Verizon store keep trying to ram down my throats. If you don't think you need every one of these motherfucking pieces of crap in your fucking life uh, that you never had uh, till you were 40 fucking years old, you, you little fucking whiner, and, and, and you didn't have to get on some fucking, you know, goddamn cruise ship uh, to take your fucking lily-white entitled boomer ass on, on some fucking vacation to Mars, wherever the fuck you're going, flying all around the fucking planet, uh, going into the, to the goddamn mall, uh, buying all your fucking whatever, uh, your, your, your goddamn three hundred dollar suits or whatever uh, you, you put on your your body because you're too too much of too good to go shopping at, at fucking goodwill because uh, you're, you're not going to lower yourself uh, to shopping at goodwill or habitat for humanity that, that all your shit uh, you, you buy brand new retail off the shelf uh, that that you've completely lost, uh, completely lost any notion of what it means to be thrifty. You have completely forgotten the old axiom: a penny saved is a penny earned. And and, and you're and you're running all around buying all of this fucking crap, uh, living in a fucking house uh, big enough to put a fucking uh, you know, Honduran village in, you know, I got no fucking pity for you, your, your, your goddamn definition of comfort, uh, your, your fucking grandma would kick your fucking ass, you little spoiled, entitled fucking boomer. Uh, you, you, you make me sicker than these whiny fucking little millennials and, and, and these Gen Zers and those other guys I always forget about. You, you, you know? Oh. You, you had the, the best life of any generation in, in fucking human history, and, and now you think uh, you deserve uh, not to fucking work anymore. And, and right on living in your fucking five bedroom fucking house that you gotta furnish, you gotta fucking heat, uh, put a new fucking roof on that you don't fucking need. You should see my fucking roof. Booty fucking boomer uh, talking to me uh, about needing a fucking roof. Don't need to hear your fucking whining. Anyway, who is this guy? Uh, th this little whiny piece of shit, David Kirsch. Kirsch is 64 years old, and his dream is to buy a gently used sailboat. Well, well, there, well there you go. Uh, I, I wonder what the fucking price on that baby is. S sell most of his belongings. Bullshit and spend his golden years traveling around the Caribbean and South America, yeah, and, and all of these goddamn ports of call, uh, you know, instead of making his own fucking drinks, going to the goddamn bar at the fucking gently used yacht club. But Kirsch, a resident of Hill, New Hampshire, feels like his sailboat is drifting further and further away. Yes, he has an IT job and earns $65,000 per year. Ha! Huh. He said he maintains IRA accounts 
and puts money into his 401k, but he still isn't confident he saved enough to retire. I want, I want my sailboat. I want my sailboat. I want to live my, out my golden years sailing around the fucking Caribbean like I'm fucking Elon Musk. Uh, I deserve it. Shut the fuck up. You know, $65,000 a year. The motherfucker, he's my age, okay? Motherfucker's my age. He earns three times as much money as I do. I have no fucking IRA. I have no 401k retirement. Okay? This whiny little fuck uh, earning three times as much money as me with his fucking IRA and his 401k bitching and whining. Uh, who the fuck is giving this spoiled brat any fucking sympathy. If I was making 65000 fucking dollars a year, and had a fucking IRA, had a fucking 401k, you know, I might actually be getting some fucking pussy every now and then. You know? Uh, when, are, when are they going to mention this? Uh, that reason guys like me aren't getting any fucking pussy. It's because all these little spoiled bitches, uh, wanting to, you know, be taken out to fucking dinner, fucking drinks, uh, all of this shit. <sighs> Kirsch is hoping, Kirsch is h hoping to start collecting Social Security checks in a couple of years, you know, he's starting at 67. That additional money would allow him to put more of his professional income into his retirement accounts, plural, during the last years of his career. Quote, my biggest fear, this is this fucker's biggest fear. My biggest fear is finding myself at 75 standing at the door at Walmart greeting people as they come in. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, if your biggest fucking fear is to be a Walmart greeter, Make it with your sixty-five thousand dollar a year job, your fucking IRAs, your fucking four hundred one ks. Guarantee this motherfucker uh, has uh, has twenty times as much real estate equity as I have. Never talks uh, about his real estate portfolio, his stock market portfolio, and, and, and all of this other shit. Never, never mentions that. Uh, you, you can't tell me that this motherfucker uh, lives in a little shack on the side of the road or a fucking single wide trailer at the end of a rutted out dirt road in a fucking swamp in Florida. Uh, you know goddamn well uh, that the kind of house this motherfucker lives in. Don't know if he's married, if his old lady is pulling in. Uh, her own said never says. Kirsch is not alone. He is one of 30 million, one of 30 million Americans known as peak boomers, a group of baby boomers born between 1959 and 1964 who will start turning 65 this year and are heading toward retirement. However, many of these boomers are worried about having enough money to fully stop working and cover their living expenses. I really need to figure out what my living expenses are.
Now, of course, I know some people hearing this are, are, are saying, well, well, Hambone, you, you have a fucking job. You run a, a vacation rental business. Guys, I, I have a job five months a year, okay, running a vacation rental business. Five months a year uh, that, that I do this, and every penny uh, that I make goes back into the fucking business. Uh, it's something to do. All right. Uh, this piddly little shit that I make uh, doing this. Uh, in, 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 anyway, it is to keep me uh, from getting bored so I'm not just sitting here with my fucking thumb up my ass uh, at least for five months of the year. And, you know, they're worried... You know, that they'll have to keep working to cover their living expenses. So, uh, they have a link to cover their living expenses. And that takes you to another article, a 63-year-old, <laughs> a 63-year-old boomer. Anyway... Uh, the Census Bureau's current population survey found that more than half of Americans over 65 have an annual income of $30,000 or less. Uh, okay, I'm certainly in that group. And per an April report from the retirement research firm Alliance Lifetime, blah, 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 52.5% of boomers have $250,000 or less in assets, which is, uh, meaning that 40, what, what is that, 47.5% of boomers uh, have assets mainly talking about their house, their, their, their primary residence of over $250,000. Uh, I honestly don't know what this place I bought for $35,000 four years ago is worth. Let's say it's worth $100,000. Uh, you know, if I sold it so I could, so I would just be homeless. Uh, my guess is I have in assets, well, I, I you know, with real estate, uh, I, I have less than, than one half of $250,000. Now, 20 years ago, uh, I had, good God, uh, six, seven hundred thousand dollars in uh, assets twenty years ago. Well, uh, sixteen years ago, uh, when I when I decided I don't need all of these fucking assets. I don't need this fucking shit. I don't need uh, whatever it was, five fucking houses in, in, in Austin, Texas. I don't need a, a truck and a car. I don't need uh, to be flying all over the fucking planet, uh, taking fucking vacations. I don't need to be going out and, and you know to all of these expensive dinners, throwing these fucking lavish parties. Uh, you know, I used to spend hundreds of dollars pr pretty much every month throwing these big picking parties, $17,000 I spent on a fucking deck, uh, you know, my goddamn Home Depot card, uh, when I went to pay it off in 2008, $22,000 uh, on, on my fucking Home Depot credit card. 
I have not owned a credit card since 2008. And, and, and this fucker, David Kirsch, uh, probably has all of this goddamn credit card debt. I don't have a fucking penny of credit card debt. I don't have a fucking penny of mortgage debt. Because uh, uh, of the, my comfort level isn't what these little spoiled brats are. For many, Social Security won't be enough to fill the gaps. As of March 2024, the Social Security Administration said its average monthly check sent to recipients is $1,775, which is pretty much exactly twice what my uh, what my Social Security. So I earn less than one, right almost exactly to the dollar, one half, one half uh, uh, of the average Social Security check. Okay? Uh, these fucking pussies. Um... Uh, this group of boomers is feeling the consequences uh, of the U.S.'s switch from an employer-funded pension uh, to the employee-funded 401k system in the 1980s. You know, I cashed out all of that shit uh, in, my, in my 50s. <clears throat> Kirsch's anxiety about retirement has fluctuated throughout his career. Yes. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay. He said his top expenses right now are his car payment. I have a car payment of zero, zero, zero. Gas money, that's probably my single biggest cost and the cost of housing uh, and, and utilities well I don't if you don't have a fucking mortgage uh, Kirsch is in good health but worries about affordable uh, medical care of that changes and I don't even want to go there uh, if I am by myself out competed in need of money in my 70s and having health problems, life is gonna suck. That's my fear. Yes, life is going to suck. That is his fear. Curse, curse wishes more people understood that some older adults aren't able to adequately prepare for retirement because of life circumstances. Yes. Although he hasn't given up on his sailboat dream, Kurt said he is anxious about having enough money to live comfortably a decade from now. He often tells his young adult son to think about retiring early. Start saving and do it as aggressively as you can. And when you can't be aggressive, still save something. So I love this. So, uh, uh, all right, guys. I'm going to take up this uh, reporter, Allison Kelly's uh, bait. I'm going to take her bait here. Are you worried about being financially ready for retirement? How are you preparing? Share your story with this reporter. All right. So she gives her email address. So Allison is going to get a is going to get a, a an email from me. I think I will include a link to this uh, story. There is no way 
that Allison at Business Insider will ever interview me. She has no interest in, in, in hearing from a 64-year-old uh, who uh, earns one-third the money of that spoiled little whiner earns, uh, has no fucking retirement plan at all, has uh, less than, than uh, one half the, the $250,000 line and uh, has a Social Security monthly check uh, of one half of the average. Uh, and, and I think I'm doing all right for myself. Well, except I'm sitting here alone with my thumb on my ass. Uh, is the main thing that I can see. Uh, that that's my biggest fear is uh, not that I'm sitting in a, in a seven foot by seven foot converted tool shed, but uh, uh, obviously uh, I, there there's no fucking way uh, that I'm ever going to find a woman uh, to uh, to be sitting here with me. Anyway. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I think I've run this rant into the ground. I just wanted you millennials and Gen Zers and that other generation I never remember to mention, uh, whoever you are, to not think I'm picking on you. My gosh.